Well, I guess I've got to do one. A lot of you guys who have watched my videos know my decisive, constructive, critical thoughts of the recent season of Supernatural. I made a video talking about Andrew Dabb, his past, his uh, credits for the show, and kind of what has driven him to make the decisions that he's done so far over the last three seasons. I did a scathing review of the season in its entirety. I just pointed out that this is a little bit hard to say, but it is entirely true. The fan base of Supernatural have twisted the show in a way that the writers can't really construct anything that is actually a critically well-written piece. Because what the fans have demanded more than anything else is fan service, whether it makes sense or not whether it is retconning or not, whether it actually even works in the story or not. They have demanded this. And to be honest, I don't feel bad talking ill about the majority of the Supernatural fan base. When the show was announced that it was going to end with season 15, Misha Collins, Jensen Ackles, and Jared Padalecki all did a video saying that the show was coming to an end. You could tell on their faces, plain as day, that they were so torn with this decision. Despite the fact that they had worked on this thing for 15 years, a good quarter of their life had been spent on this. They were probably, one, bored of doing the same thing, no matter how enthusiastic they would say about it, but at the same time, they realized just how big of a fan base they've created, how much they've worked with uh, charity groups and support groups through their show. So you could tell when they said that it was coming to an end, while they didn't want to, they did, but they didn't at the same time. And what happens within literal days of this announcement? Fans rush to petition.org or other garbage sites and immediately start putting up petitions saying, this shouldn't be the last season of Supernatural. We should have another season. We should have five more seasons. This show shouldn't end. We, the fans, deserve more of this show. I fucking hate that sentence. We the fans deserve. So what? You watched a fucking show on your couch? Ooh, good for fucking you. It's honestly one of the most ignorant and lazy sentences and sayings I've heard in the fan base in a long, long time. There are people who can suck up the garbage and the horrible writing and think it's great. There are people who can say that there's no problems with the show when there clearly is. I will disagree with both of you very much so, but I will allow you to have an opinion as long as you can well construct it. But these people, these we deserve, these are honestly the scum of the earth in my opinion. You got 15 goddamn seasons. You know how incredibly amazing that is? Even though I don't like this show as much as I used to, even though it is not as good as it used to be, that is a feat that is impossible to reach. But when you see people with this goddamn mentality, we deserve more, it makes me hate so much of the fan base because you don't. You don't deserve anything. These people worked their asses off for 15 years. These people worked tireless weeks, barely getting any social time whatsoever, working long into the night. This show was a fucking graveyard shift for the first five, six years of its runtime. So if any of you think you deserve it, if any of you sign those petitions, I honestly say you should be ashamed with yourself. By God! you really need to prioritize what you need in your life. Okay, so aside from that very, very harsh opening, what do I feel will happen in season 15? It's kind of a mix of what I want to happen, what I hope happens, and what I actually think will happen. One being the most probable, Andrew Dabb is gonna drop the fucking ball. If not, he's gonna make this such a giant fan service machine that the continuity of this show is about to be thrown out the window. You know how a bunch of people are complaining right now about how Daenerys has changed? in the recent episode of Game of Thrones almost makes no sense that her character change was so quick that it had no proper padding to make that make sense. That Jeremy Johns did a video saying that her turn to evil was just as rapid and ridiculous as Anakin Skywalker's in episode three. And somehow y'all people think that God turning evil in 20 minutes is still sustainable writing. I'm interested to see if God was, con was compelled or altered or that's not really him. 
or something because it just doesn't make sense for him to just do this. Also, I'd love to know how on earth certain entities that have been literally destroyed from existence are coming back. Creatures and ghosts and whatnot that the brothers destroyed. I'd love to know how these things have just reappeared. Like, I know God can bring people back, but you've got to explain how these monsters are coming back too. You can't just do it. Again, fan service, overwriting actual good storytelling. I would love for the bunker to get destroyed. The bunker must, must be destroyed. There is going to be no sense of urgency in this show in its final season. If this is a war for the world, war for the universe, war for basically the end of times, they shouldn't be able to go back to the bunker and chill. That should be destroyed or overrun or whatever in the first few minutes. Speaking of the first few minutes, I'm going to love to see how they get out of this. Because if you guys notice that on the very last frame, Misha, Jared, and Jensen don't do anything. They literally let the zombies, like, just hug them. Misha literally stands there with his hands down and then just, mm, at least the brothers were pretending to swing these metal things. We have to have a reasonable excuse of how these guys get out of the situation. I very much doubt we're going to get one, unless some deus ex machina sort of creature is going to come and save them, which very well could be. Billy could save them. Jack could come back. I swear, if he comes back right off the bat, that's three revivals for this character in less than 30 episodes. What the hell, less than 20 episodes. As for the fan service ideals, what's happening with these monsters coming back, make them work properly. Don't just shoehorn them in. You can kind of have it as an aspect of in season four, or was it season four or season five, where the ghosts of the dead were coming back. It, like for instance, uh, the bank robber guy with laser eyes, or Meg, the woman who was possessed, uh, who the first possession of Meg, she came back to haunt Dean, right? Remember, this was sort of the idea of, no, this, I think this was five. This was the one of the first few showings of the apocalypse happening. Ghosts of fallen people who have been wronged come back. So do that aspect with the monsters. Have them as a narrative function. Don't just have them appear just for the sake of appearing. You either make this make sense or you go balls out and you literally just have them fighting fucking whatever every episode. On the same note, you have to make this really hard. You have to make this literally be the end of the world. We just saw zombies and everything rise. This is worse than what it was at the peak of the apocalypse in season five. So you've got to make this literally the end of times. So things have got to be going wrong every single episode. There can't be downtime. If there is a downtime, there has to be some form of maybe humor to it. Maybe like a, a, a humorous episode, like I said, with the, like the fucking clown coming back. You could have that as a humorous aspect, but each episode should have peril. There should be a form of danger for what the brothers are going through, whether it be trying to figure out what the fuck is God is doing, whether the MT is actually going to be an aid or it's going to be a villain, because when Jack died, I kind of expected the MT to come up, but I honestly have no idea what the MT's doing because Castiel made that deal with the MT, and then the MT said, well, we're gonna come back when you're at your worst, so I don't know. The whole MT stuff was apparently poorly written. Speaking of poorly written, stop dropping storylines, Andrew Dabb. You have a consecutive narrative right here. You actually have something that you have put in front of you, even though it makes absolutely no sense how it got there. You have something that you can work with that can consecutively get you to the end. It is a straight path. Don't fucking drop it, forget about it, and then bring it back when you feel like it. Actually have the characters have some form of emotional connection because we've been seeing the same bullshit with the brothers for the last few years. There was that instant earlier in the in this season where Sam was like, why are you giving up on us? And everyone was like, oh, such great acting. And everyone seems to forget that this has happened about seven or eight seasons per before. Various, various seasons have done the exact same storyline, so don't repeat the same garbage. But this is just my thoughts. I know this probably won't happen, because that's not fan service ideal. That is not what the fans want. I am trying to suggest a critically well-written storyline. 
but Dab doesn't seem to do that. However, I have heard that Jensen and Jared are much more attached to the writing and the story aspects of this season. So honestly, that's the only hope I have right now, because otherwise if it's Dab and Singer, it's gonna be a fucking shit show. It will be. It will be horrible if it's just those two. Bring some of the original writers or some of the original directors back. I'd love to see some of the original directors back. I'd love to see Kripke write an episode. I know he's working on a show called The Boys, I think, but if he just came back and helped in consulting, if Jeremy Carver came back, fuck, he doesn't have a job right now because his Frequency show got canceled. I would just love to see some of the OG people come back. Obviously, we can't get all of them. There are some who either are just unavailable, or there's some who aren't with us anymore, like the director, Kim Manners. Oh, I'd love to see Kim Manners direct an episode again. We need to see this show to an end that makes sense, and it can't just be a fan service train it has to actually be a narrative train as for the ending they can't kill god because if they do kill god then everything that was set up in season 11 is complete bullshit and dab is just again retconning absolute piles and piles of garbage they have to figure out a way to trick him or they are going to figure out that he's wrong the god aspect i actually don't have any clue of what they're going to do because nothing i can think of makes sense with the lore i'm not going to think of a retcon way because i'm not going to give dab an idea but at least to say I don't know how narratively this will continue towards a satisfying conclusion that's not going to be a giant retcon. I hope I'm wrong. Personally, I really do hope I'm wrong. I'm hoping that this is a season that is better than the last three pieces of shit, but I'm not holding my breath. Finally, for the ending, the brothers need to die. I thought about this, and part of me thought about them driving off into the sunset, and I like that idea. I do like that idea, but the only thing is, the only way that would work is if somehow they were able to kill every single monster on the planet. Oh no. Oh god, is that gonna be it? Are they gonna find some sort of MacGuffin spell that kills every single monster on the planet? Are they gonna make god kill every single monster every single demon every single evil entity on the planet right now i feel that we need some uh, monsters to get rid of some officials in maybe alabama and georgia if you know what i'm saying aside from that though i feel that the brothers should die they should have to sacrifice themselves unless they do kill every single monster and demon and whatever on the earth the brothers will just keep going i don't know if that'll be a satisfying idea I like the idea of them going off into the sunset, just like literally in the Impala, driving off towards the sun, and that's the end. I like that idea, but I feel that the brother's dying in some heroic fashion and not coming back. I think that's even what Jared Padalecki thought that when he was originally kind of the idea is that they would die. Like, that's the only way that this is going to end. But those are my thoughts. Those are my ideas of what I feel the season will end as. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm very interested to see what people's opinions are, but I definitely, like, that, that that's one of my big things, is they need to destroy the bunker, because I'm so goddamn bored of that bunker. And it's going to just ruin the whole idea of the world being in terror if it's their little safe haven for the entire season. Aside from that, make sure to check out the interview kind of discussion panel that I'm going to do with Jade Way, whenever the name of her uh, YouTube account right here. And I'm very much looking forward to that. We're going to be doing that interview uh, discussion this Saturday, so I don't know when she's going to put it up, but I am much looking forward to that, and I hope you guys enjoy that too. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. This is the longest video I've done since I got out of the hospital, but it was very nice to get these things off my chest because I just got the staples ripped out, so that was fun. Anyways, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.